Hi, I'm Paul Kidwell from the Detroit chapter of the Geek Group. And I'm Laura Manoff from the Chicago chapter of the Geek Group. And today we're going to talk about something exciting I saw on YouTube and can't explain. So I have to come and talk to this really smart guy about it. All right. What so do we have here? Essentially what I did was um, I got excited about the magnets. And I have two rare earth magnets underneath a, a D battery and a copper wire shaped like a heart. And I've configured it so that it touches the uh, magnet and the top of the battery. And it will rotate if you touch it just right. However, okay. I don't know why. All right. Um, let's see. This is called a homopolar motor, as I recall. And you have your copper wire here. All bent up to uh, 14 gauge. 14 gauge mm -hmm. to go around the magnets on the bottom here. Right. And when the bottom contacts the magnets, which are nickel plated, Correct. so they conduct, mm -hmm. and you put the copper on the top of the battery, it'll sit there and rotate. Well, it, so. it will rotate longer if, uh, if you play with it a little bit more. All right. If you, if you center punch that so you got a dimple, it'll keep the wire in place. So the question I have, though, is why does that work? Why is All that right. happening? What you have is something called the right-hand rule mm -hmm. that dictates how a conductor behaves in a magnetic field. Okay. And I got, I got a right hand right here. We're not I sure. have one, too. Yes. All right. <laughs> so the magnetic field under the ba the magnets under the battery uh -huh. goes down into the table and arcs up over and comes through the battery and back into the magnet. Okay. So that's my fingers. The current that's is flowing. Flux, right? Yes, it is. All right. The current flows through the wire. Okay. And it starts at the positive end and goes through. Okay. So you have current flowing through a conductor in a magnetic field. Something's going to move. And the way you determine the direction is, they call it the right-hand rule, you've got your fingers representing the magnetic field, the current flows through your hand from the palm to the back, and then your thumb points the direction that the wire is going to rotate. So current flowing like this, uh, magnetic field coming through the table, we're going to move the wire in that direction. And so clockwise. So clockwise. Oop, it's and it's going clockwise, so yes. now, right hand rule. Correct. Now, if we reverse the polarity on the magnet, I'm going to flip north for south here. Now our magnetic fields go in the opposite direction. Our current's still going the same way. So we go counterclockwise. Left hand. Right, left hand. Well, it's, it's right hand rule working. But it's still right hand rule. It's just going in the opposite direction? Correct. Because the current is flowing, or the flux is going in a different direction? Right. It's, it's your opposite direction here, actually. Awesome. So, but there you go. Thank you. Um, we, I'm quite certain we can post a link to how this is working down below. I can't remember what it is. It's Lorenz Law or something like that that came up with all this. Well, it's definitely fun. But Another fun thing to do with magnets. Oh, absolutely. It's about the simplest motor I've ever seen someone come up with. Really. And what's it called again? It's a homopolar motor. Homopolar motor. And I really don't know where they derived that name from, but there you go. Thank you very much for showing me how that works. You're quite welcome. And that's it for this segment. We'll catch you next time. This video was made possible by a grant from the Future Girl Foundation. This video was made possible by thousands of private donations from members and viewers like you. Please visit thegeekgroup.org for more information on how you can donate and become a part of our dreams of Avalon.